Okay, so this is um, the first video for the lab of uh, week two. First up, I just want to mention some of the documents um, that are available from via um, uh, Moodle. So uh, we have our um, a review of randomness here. We have a simple math library discussion, which is going to actually be important. Um, and then we actually have the um, uh, the actual lab itself. So there's a few things in here, uh, and I really do want to point a couple of a couple of things out. So first up, uh, we've got here. Just a bit of a review of um, randomness. I'm not going to go through here. I think this is relatively straightforward. If you've got any questions about this, um, first of all, play around with them um, in the engine, see how they work. If you can't kind of work it out, um, please talk to your uh, tutor. So there's that one available for you to give you an idea. We're going to be using randomness and, and here's, some, here's some stuff on randomness. Second one is about simple math. Um, direct X math is quite fast, but unfortunately really not particularly fun to use. So instead of that, we're going to be using something called simple math uh, instead, which is a wrapper for direct X math. Um, and uh, it is included with the, um, uh, the, the, the game engine where um, you give, we're giving you today. So this is the game engine. This is the structure. So we're actually using uh, simple math today in that. Um, and I just want to point out a couple of things. So there's a few links down here. Now, um, <laughs> at least one of these links is more important than it might appear to be. The one down the bottom, Intro to Simple Math, is also going to give you some, um, some documentation or lead you to some documentation that you won't have uh, otherwise. So I'm gonna open this up in a new tab. And if I go to this tab, so this is in GitHub, um, and it gives me just a little bit of an overview here, just about vectors. We've talked about those in a lecture, so that's all fine. Matrices we'll be talking about next week with along with quaternions. Um, what, I wanna, what I actually really want you to go to and have a look at is under the further reading, there is the DirectX Toolkit docs. And then this simple math, a link to the simple math. Now, if I click on that, that brings me to this page where I have a list of some different uh, effectively types down here. Now, a couple of them we're gonna be using in the code this week, and um, it's gonna be useful just at least to know where to uh, look them up if you're interested in finding out more. So the two we're gonna be using in code are Vector3 and Matrix. So I'm just gonna open up Vector3 in another window. And it gives us the definition and, and gives us um, uh, an idea of what is kind of going on here and what we have available. So I've got some initialization, we have some fields, so this is the way we can create them. Um, and the fields are X, Y, Z. So we have our, um, our one by three matrix, which is uh, which is fine. It gives us our uh, X, Y, Z um, vector. We have some methods here that we can use. So we can, uh, we've got comparisons, assignment, unary operators, etc. We also have dot cross normalized clamp. So we have these available as well. And um, we have a few different things here in statics um, and some constants. Uh, so you see here we have uh, a zero matrix, one matrix, um, and all these, sorry, uh, vectors, vectors. Uh, I mean, they are matrices as well, um, but we're saying vectors here. So we have a zero vector, one vector, etc. down here. We will be just using the zero vector kind of just to set up a vector. So it, it allows us to really easily set the, um, the origin, which is what we'll be doing. So this is the documentation for the vector three um, that we'll be using today. Now there's also matrix, again, this is mostly gonna look at this next week, but I'll just quickly show you in documentation where this is and what it has, because it does appear in the code. Um, I don't want you to worry about it too much at this point in time, but for those particularly who are interested, I just want to explain where these things are. So this is, uh, the 
the definition of matrix. This is the header we use. Uh, initialization so it shows us how to initialize these things. Um, so this is a four by four matrix. Again, we're going to be going into this um, a little bit uh, or more um, more next week. So don't worry, don't want you to worry about it too much. But we are going to be using some of these. Um, so I just want to point them out before we dive into our code. So we've got some methods, we've got some statics, and the one that we want, um, we're going to actually be using the identity matrix here. So they're going to be CDAC on matrix as that. The identity matrix simply um, provides us with a matrix which, if we multiply it with any other matrix, uh, leaves the other matrix um, the same. So it's the same as multiplying something by one in the normal in the normal scheme. Um, so I just want to point those out. I think they're reasonably important to be aware of um, moving forward. So we do actually have access to uh, uh, to these these two pages at the moment, particularly vector three uh, and matrix at the top, um, and that's reasonably important so that you actually have an idea of what is capable of those. In the future, this is the simple math um, DirectX documentation. There are others here as well, which are well worth knowing and we will go into um, in the future.